This question is very much similar to the questions in which we ask trailing zeros. The only difference is here the base is 7 and normally base is 10, decimal number system. It says factorial 150 is converted to base 7, how many consecutive zeros would be there at the end of it. Now thing is, uh, once you convert to base 7, that means the digits from 7, 8, 9 would be gone. So we'll be having only 7 digits, that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So <coughs> whatever is 10 in decimal number system, it is 7 in base 7. So basically, whatever base is given to you, let's say it's converted to base 8, then the value of 8 would correspond to value of 10 in decimal numbers in the system. That is the only thing. So let's say if the base is x, then the value of x will correspond to 10 in decimal number system. So our life becomes really easy here. So all we need to do is we have to find, so this question can be rephrased as what is the maximum power of 7 that can divide factorial 150 completely. Just remember it and that is how we'll be doing it. So for that, the normal thing is we need to divide 150 successively by 7. So I do it first time, 7 twos are 14, uh, 7 ones are 7 point something. Now we are concerned only with the integral point, so 21 is there. So we have 21 7s in 150. By the way, we can have uh, extra 7s also. In case of 7 square, that is 49. So whatever we have here, we'll divide that by 7 again. So keep on dividing successively till it is possible to divide. 7 3s are, that's it. Now I cannot divide 3 by 7. I can divide, I'll get 0 point something, not an integral value. So I'll stop there. 21 plus 3, that is my answer, 24. So basically, <clears throat> if this question was in base 10, the maximum power that can divide factorial 150 is 24. And base 7, the number of trailing zeros would be same as the number of 7s, that is 24 here. Thank you.